I just think there's you know just a, an oversaturation of, of things that are not going to be around for very for very long. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's the same. It's every, nothing. It's the same one has the same story. Everybody mm -hmm. that's been doing this long enough has mm -hmm. the same story. You see people come and go, and you know, um, the, you know, it's good to see uh, people that have dedicated their life to doing this still doing it and and being inspired. You know, and this tour has been really inspiring. Actually, mm -hmm. face to face has been really inspiring. I like to see that kids still care about it. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, some things just stay the same. You know. Sure. So I guess you know, in that that same vein, you know, what's your take on the whole like hype hype machine culture and the hyper aware way that people are kind of involving themselves? You know, with Twitter and Facebook. And, yeah. People, and you know, um, like I said, people like to discover something. Sure. People like when I, when, like on my face. You know, I, I use faith, Facebook sometimes to promote my shit, whatever. But I I have a I'm kind of split on it because I think it's important for people to feel like they're discovering something on their own mm -hmm. and not to be constantly bombarded with this shit people will automatically you know resist that when you feel like you're being bombarded or being sold something mm -hmm. and there's so much of today with the Twitter and the fucking everything that, that that's going on I don't know people just I think it's too much sometimes you yeah. know and if you just do good work and have faith in their, your work then people mm -hmm. will come to you and I think that still holds true today. Absolutely, even more I, than ever. I, I well, I, you know, like you said, it's oversaturation. But I do think that the kids that maybe that came up in the you know the, the late '90s and early 2000s who were kind of trained on these bands that that meant something to them, you know, like because I feel like that was a that was a really important time for a lot of like independent music culture. Um, you know, they're the ones that can still kind of discern what's sincere and what's not sincere. Yeah. But kids now, you know, kids that I talk to, 15, 14, 13, they just, it, it's such a, they can't really concentrate or focus on anything. We, we hope, we, uh, we hope, I hope that's not the case. I, it, it's just something, it's something I've noticed. Like I yeah, work for a company. I've noticed it too. I, I worked for a company that, that catered to that, that crowd and it was tiring and frustrating to try and talk to them about things that were important to me, you know, and, yeah. and music that I was really into. It's really hard to sell kids on something now, Yeah. you know. That doesn't sound exactly like something else that they're into. Yeah, yeah. No, kids are you know, and to make to, it's when you base a whole market around kids around mm -hmm. youth, you, you know, you're dealing with um, um, just kids are, are fickle. They're totally fickle. Absolutely. Like you said, the attention span. You know, I hope I hope as a as an artist that uh, and I'm somebody like you who um, creates a culture mm -hmm. that hopefully we can change that. Yeah, we well, are the culture. That's of the our thing. Generation. Yeah, absolutely. We are the, yeah. The people that you know, we're not going off to war. Right. We're not working in a factory or building anything. We're trying to create culture. Right. So that's our job. And when I see kids, I hope that I can inspire them in some way. I guess that's our job, right? To inspire people to absolutely, whether it be in in making the art, making the music, putting something out that you believe in, yeah. or doing something like we're doing and trying to take things that we're passionate about and show mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, absolutely. It's I, I never really looked at it that way actually creating the culture, but I guess that's that's what it is. Yeah. Um, and, and writing about it and, and everything that's great. Um, so. I